Okay, guys, we're going to get back to finishing these pages. I have had so many issues with my camera, and I'm so sorry for the problems, but, you know, you just don't... I didn't even realize it quit, and I think it's a battery issue. So, if it continues, I'm just going to have to give up and get another camera, but I'm trying to avoid the expense because they're not cheap. But I did get a couple messages from Barbie, and she's new to scrapbooking, and she missed the part... Well, actually, she did miss it. I didn't realize the camera quit on that one as well. So I'm going to put a pocket page together so that Barbie can see it. So for each page, you'll need a piece that's six and a half by six, and then you'll score one side at a half inch. And we'll burnish that. And then the second piece for each pocket will be six by seven and you'll score two sides at a half inch. And you'll burnish those real good just so you get a real nice straight edge and a crisp fold. Now this will be the top and the bottom of your page. This will be your open end. This will be your hinge end. And I do like to trim just a smidge off so you get a nice straight corner on these. Not a lot of extra bulk in there when you put it together. Now this is actually the hinge that's going to attach to your spine. Get all these little black pieces out of here. Okay, so we're going to put glue on the top the bottom and just a tiny little bit so that when we put, well actually it will be this side the way I've got it laying, when you put them together this will stay out. This will be your top like so. This will glue underneath and this will be your open pocket. This is going to be your hinge. Okay, so what we're going to do, let's hope the glue works for me today. Let me turn on another light here. Make sure we got good to bright light. Okay, so we're going to put the art glitter glue down. Oops. Get a little carried away there. And we want just a smidge here. We don't want to lose a lot of our pocket by gluing a whole lot down. We just want enough so that our pocket page stays shut. Okay, now it's just a matter of lining these up and make sure that you leave, you stay away from this fold so that when you attach it down you don't have a lot of bulk because it needs to fold nicely there. And we'll match up this side as well. And then this will still fold under. I'll move that down a little bit. Okay. So we'll burnish it. Now, if for any reason you have a little overhang on this edge, this is the time you want to trim it. Or if you want to put a finger pull notch in there, this is the time to do it before you start covering your pages. I'm not going to put a finger pull on these. A lot of times um, you'll put a notch like a half a circle punch in there. But this will be your pocket. And the inserts will be uh, five and three quarter by five and three quarter. And when you do the inserts, I had one cut here somewhere. Maybe this is it. Let me see if this is the five and three quarter, I think. Yeah, I believe it is. Yeah, I like to round the corners on them, and there's many corner rounders out there. Let me see, this is the half inch one. This one is the We Are Memory Keepers. It has a quarter inch and a half inch on it. I like to use the half inch. These are a little bit higher priced than some of the corner rounders, but I really like it. It's my favorite one. You can hardly go wrong with them. 
and they have several decorative edges. I've only got two of them. I'd like to eventually get some more of them because I really do like them. And then once you've embellished this and added your paper, it'll slide right in there. They just slide so much easier with the rounded corners. And um, then I will use um, this Stampin' Up! Punch to make my tabs. It just punches out and then you fold your pieces together and glue it over the edge. So anyway, Barbie, I hope that helps you a lot. Um, then, on the second video I did, which cut out on me as well, I had just finished this page, this pocket page, and then the page following that is this one. And it was not on camera as well. It does have a magnet in it. And it opens this way. It was a very simple page to make. Opens this way and then like this. So, and these had, these are side pockets. They're very small. Um, make it a scrap. You can stick a tag or something in there. And then these are full pages. And I'll come back and embellish these pages after I get everything put together. But I w just wanted to show you guys how everything goes together. So now we'll flip over to the back side of this one. And on this one, I have my magnets on the back side of this piece. And then under this piece. Right here. So that they don't show. And I, I put those down before I do my papers, of course, so they're hidden. And then this will be the next page. <coughs> okay. This is the background page. Let me see. This is for a waterfall page. So, we have this one, and this one, this one, and this one, I don't know how many I have on here, I'm going to hold all these, I hope it will. It's not going to hold that many. I don't know what the world I was thinking. Well, we won't do this one right now. We'll save this for one of the covers. That'll work better. Sometimes you just have to revamp your plans. Let's go to... This one. Let me... You know what we can do, though? We can go ahead and use these for photo flaps. This one can go this way. And which one do I like best? I like that with it. I think that's real pretty with it. Okay, we'll save these for another page. So all is not lost. This can still go underneath, and this can go here, and this can go here. wonder if I can use this if I could do stack two together. Let me see if that'll work. Nope, that would hang over. So we can't do that. So we'll just stick with the two. That'll work. Okay. I don't like that on there. Okay. <coughs> Alrighty, so what we're going to do, the first thing we want to do is glue this one down the two black ones and 
going to trim those off. The little folding tabs. Now, I didn't give you measurements on all these pieces simply because it depends on the size of the album you're making. Um, just measure the length plus a half inch for your um, piece that you're going to turn under and glue down. And then you have to allow that when you use a punch, it's going to take off anywhere from a quarter to maybe three quarters of an inch of your paper. So you have to cut it accordingly. But just measure on a scrap piece of paper how much your um, punch is eaten up when you when you punch it. All right, now let's not do this. We've had enough problems. Okay. It sets up really quick, but I do like this art glitter glue. I may have told you in the first video, I normally get it from uh, Tammy Merrill at Cap Country Craft Creations. I know a lot of people sell it. But um, I usually get it from her just because I order from her frequently. Okay, we're going to place that right along the top edge, about as thin as you can get it. And this one is going to go on the bottom. Oh, my nose is itching. I don't know why. Supposed to mean company's coming is what my mom used to tell us. Okay, so we want to line it up with the top piece. And right along this edge. Just like that. Okay, now this piece is going to go here. Uh, should we have a magnet? I think we probably should. We'll put the magnet up here. So let's put this one down. This is going to fold away so we can put it in here, which will be fine. Oh, come off of there now. <laughs> Paper didn't want to come on, but the magnet doesn't work. Whoops. Well, now I'll need that ruler after a while. It doesn't need to jump into the wastebasket. Okay, there's a magnet on the back side, and it's wanting to go to it. I've got two on that back side. I want this one to be in here. Okay. Now let me put a little sticky note there so it stays where I want it to. And we need this one. And then when you press this down, your magnet will be right where you want it to. And we'll lift it up. Get rid of our sticky note. Now we can put this one down. Come on, turkey. I tell you, if I can have problems, it'll be on this, this video, that's for sure. This is pretty much the same process I followed on the video that you didn't get to see. I was just chattering away, telling you what I was doing, and then find out it turned off on me. It's getting so aggravating. I hope not to have to buy a camera, but 
It's looking like it's time to replace the one I've got. And if I have to, I have to. Because I can't let it keep doing this. <coughs> okay. Now we want to put this piece on. double-sided tape off where I piece these two together. Hopefully I will. There it goes. Okay, place this up. A little glue hanging over there. Okay. Looks pretty good. I always like to burnish it and make sure I get a good seal, especially on the edges. After all the expense of purchasing your, purchasing your supplies and then going to the work to put it all together, to have it come apart would be very disheartening. And I am going to put, this is going to be a little bit long, so I'm going to trim that off uh, just for journaling underneath each picture. Or you can put a photo here or use it for journaling. Whichever. Let me trim these off. Where's my little Tim Holtz thingy? So, where'd I mark it? Duh. There it is. Duh. Okay, it's been a long day today. Okay, so these are cut at five. The next one at five, and they'll be ready to go on. Okay. <coughs> okay. Boy, it turned really cold in Texas last night. Oh my goodness, it was so cold this morning. supposed to be even colder tomorrow but then we're in in line for a warm-up they said so I look forward to that I'm not used to all this cold anymore I've been in the south so many years okay there we go there's that let's turn it around and get this one that'll cover up our magnet Okay. <coughs> okay. There's that one. There. Now that's your double page. So you can put photos or uh, whatever, and I will put some kind of embellishment out here. And then you've got plenty of room for journaling or more photos, and then we'll embellish this somehow in the in the final walkthrough. I'll do the embellishments. Okay, so that is one, two, three, four, five, six pages. We've got four left. So this one will go this way, and it needs to have some orange and yellow with it. <coughs> So, I'm trying to find another page I got cut out that will flow with that. Okay, let's do this one. This will work. And because that, hey, that's where I can use this. Remember when I had this and I messed up? I think I might be able to use it here. We won't need any magnets on this page because this is just going to have a belly band. So we can glue this one down in place. Oh, and I mentioned on the first um, video about um, the end breaking off of my pen. 
that goes in this glue bottle. I did get a message back from Tammy Merrill at Country Craft Creations that I wasn't home, and by the time I got back, I thought it was too late to call her. And then I was gone most all day today, so I didn't get a call her again, so I'll probably call her Monday morning. I don't want to bother her on a Sunday, but I will call her back and see what she has to say about the the pins. But in the meantime, I'm using quilting pins to keep it from stopping up on me. The only thing is, I believe the ones that <coughs> excuse me come with the bottle of glue are stainless steel so that they don't rust and the quilting pins will rust and if you leave the same pin in there too long I notice that it stains your glue because they rust and you'll get when you first use it you'll get a little bit of a brownish residual on it I just squirt that away and then go on it's not like you lose a whole bunch of glue but it you do notice it okay this is just a little bit long so let me put another score mark on this. A little bit longer than I want it to be. So I'm going to move it over about an eighth of an inch. And score it again. About like that. Little bit of an overhang on it, which I don't want. Let me burnish that. See how that goes. Yes, much better. Okay, so we will trim this again because I don't need all this now. <coughs> Okay, now all we need to glue on this one is these two tabs on the end. Okay. I don't want it to be dead center. Come on now, little turkey. There we go. That's where I want you to be. Okay, and this is just a dried up baby wipe. That's something I did learn from Tammy Merrill. If you save your baby wipes after they drive out, dry out, you can use them to wipe up glue and they pick it up really good. You don't want to use a wet baby wipe because it will pull color out of your cardstock. And if you get it wet, it breaks down the fibers. And some of those baby wipes are pretty juicy. Let's hope this one's not too long. Maybe just a hair. Let me take this. right down the middle of that belly band. Okay, now this will work to put tags or, you know, cut. We'll make uh, our embellishments last and put those on. But does that look straight? It does, but I didn't think it was. It's down tight anyway, so it's, as far as I'm concerned, it's staying. <laughs> now this we can use as a little pocket, or we can put it over here. I kind of like it off to the side. Let me glue this down, and we'll put a little bitty tag in there. It's so cute. I made it for another page, but then when I got it put together, it didn't work out like I planned. And this is just a little bitty scrap of black cardstock. And I just punched the edge of it 
scored it under on three sides and I like this on the top. Let me trim these edges. <coughs> Put a little glue on it. I'm going to put it down here. I'm going to put a little mini tag in it. Move it down a little bit there. That looks so. That's not straight. I have a problem with straight. Okay, there's that one. See, now when they go, when you open the book, these two will relate to each other. Then we flip it over, and we will have these two. Okay, this one is, I wrote myself notes. <laughs> this one is a double side pocket. Oh, I remember. <laughs> I have to remember what I did. This is going to be the base page. It's a little tight. Let me trim just a hair off of that. I think that's going to be tight. <coughs> I'm right-handed, so I need it this way. I'm going to take just a smidge off of it. There's nothing worse than trying to fold your page over and it has all that bulk from the uh, from the fold of your flap and it just doesn't want to lay down right and it's aggravating. And sometimes it can be just the tiniest little bit of an amount. Okay. That's better. See, before it was going to hit this crease, and then it wouldn't fold when I go to put my hands on. Okay, these are side pockets, and what I did was I took the full length of cardstock. I'll measure this one for you. And you can always adjust it to fit short, um, whatever, including the border. This one is it's nine and three quarters long, and it is four wide. And then I scored it at a half on each side. These fold under. And this one folds this way. And I'm going to glue this down to here. And then this one to the page. See, I put glue on these. Glue it to itself. And then these two flaps will glue down to the page. And then you've got a double tag. I hope that makes sense. Okay. So let's put our glue on here. Just line up your edges and give it a good press. Do the same thing to the other one. What you crying about, little dog? Can you hear my little dog crying? I don't know what his problem is. He's a whiner, too. He likes to whine. I know he's got food and water because I just filled up his bowls. Well, this thing he wanted to hold still now. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll be glad when this cold's gone. Okay. And we'll glue these down. And make sure it lays straight with your crease on the back side. Let me trim off these edges here. 
this when I had to score a second time because I scored it wrong, so I'm going to trim all the excess off so I don't need all that bulk. This in the same way. I don't know why I did, but I did. Sometimes I can't explain why I did it. I just did it. But I'll fix it. That's what matters, huh? Okay. Okay, so on these two, I have cut two little scraps of the yellow to slide up under here. Like, like so. And then I have these two pieces to go out here. Okay, and then we can glue them to the page. So this one is not a hard page. Really, none of them are hard. It's just some of them have more pieces. And I usually make them do one page as I go along. Make sure you get this on top of the flap that you glued down. Where's my baby pipe? Make sure I don't have any glue in there. Um, it can get tedious, but usually I cut out a page and put it together and then go on and do the next page. When you're doing a video, it saves a lot of time if you have all the cutting and scoring done before you get started. But then, sometimes I forget what I was doing. And I think, oh, what did I have on my mind when I cut this? <laughs> okay, there's that. <coughs> I will glue these down. Okay, there's this one. Down a little farther. This one. Okay. Now, let's get this put in place. Now, should I make them both go the same way or go opposite? It's kind of crowded with two, isn't it? Maybe I should just put one. What do you think? Actually, I hate to cover up all this pretty paper is what I hate. You know what I think I'll do <coughs> is put one this way and leave this side open so that I can take, tuck something under it. What do you think of that? little change in plans there, but I think I like that better. Okay. Let's glue this one down to itself. So that can be an open pocket. And I'll have the bottom won't be quite as deep because I'll have to put glue down here to make it stay, but that's okay. And this.
Okay, so we'll put this over to the side. Actually, I'm going to put just a tad up here. And that way it's not open at the top, it's just, it is underneath and it is here. So that'll be that page and we won't need this. I can save it for something else. <coughs> I frequently do that. Okay, so let me see. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is the last one. So let's actually, let me see, what can we do with this one? <coughs> well, I know what I want to do with the back side of it. I'm going to have to revamp page 9 because I've moved so many things around. But this one is going to be a double corner pocket and it will not need any magnets either. So we'll go ahead and do page 10. Oops. There we go. And then I've cut my corner pockets. <coughs> Excuse me. So that this one. will attach to this. This is the first corner pocket. Like so. Let me trim my... I like to cut out these corners here. Get rid of that bulk. <coughs> 